Hello! In this video, I am going to indent the help robot source code and briefly show some tricks used on the video pages to make the game. And please, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and click on the bell to receive all notifications. Now let's start to indent the source code. When I ran the indented source code for the first time, that was the result. The bug was caused because I removed the same column from the print command, which caused the screen to scroll unexpectedly. Let's check if the game works correctly now. All seems ok now. Now let's see the full indent source code, which grows from 48 to 456 lines. And this is the source code without any comment. But how much would it grow if it were fully commented on?
Let's run and see if there are any bugs. After that, I fixed bugs in the vertical axis acceleration variables and the scroll variables. Now let's take a quick look at how video pages are allocated in the game and what's going on behind the scenes. This is how the second frame buffer works, storing the stage without any effect, keeping the unprocessed static particles and making the full screen scroll. Among the particles are hemoglobin, the remains of the wall and the remains of the virus, which share the same source code changing only the colors. Any particle, if held immobile by a collision, becomes a static particle that is no longer processed and is stored in the frame buffer. The walls are destroyed only when the explosion animations are finished, so a filled red circle is displayed in the second frame buffer. The second frame buffer is copied as sliced blocks to the first frame buffer and, at the same time, each slice is moved vertically to give the Sinos effect. The title screen draws the fonts several times to make them thicker and increases or decreases their size sinusoidally. To make a good pixel collision, there is a scan around the rope robot every 45 degrees. With the virus, scanning is performed every 20 degrees for greater accuracy. In front of the laser, a few pixels are also scanned. Only one pixel is scanned for each active particle. In short, the first frame buffer is used to scan pixels, draw the entities like the particles, the virus, the rope robot, and the on-screen display. And of course, first of all, there is the wavy grid effect applied to the copy of the page, as shown before. The explosion effect is activated when the laser collides with any solid structure and remains scrolling in the first frame buffer until the end of the animation. And finally, the first frame buffer is copied to the main screen and the game logic loop continues. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.